junior developers write code to find a solution, often generating unreadable and unmaintainable applications. Senior developers are focused on writing less code and taking care of performance while implementing new features. If you want to be the cleaner of coding, you have to get familiar with the solid principle, which was introduced in the book Design Principles and Design Patterns, authored by Robert C. Martin. There are five main rules in which the first letters are combined into solid word. Single Responsibility Principle, Open Close Principle, Liskov Substitution Principle, Interface Segregation Principle, Dependency Inversion Principle. Let's describe them in React Jazz. The first rule is the Single Responsibility Principle. Each component should have one responsibility, so it definitely excludes writing complex components that handle multiple features. Let's assume we are building a blog web app. At some point, we are forced to make a blog post component that should display a post and user interactions like comments and likes. We could have packed everything into one huge component or divided it into separate ones. For example, in blog post component, we will display posts and comments separately. Second rule, open close principle. Components should be open for extension, but close for modification. In React, we can achieve this using composition and props. In this example, the button component is opened for extensions because it is possible to change its appearance and behavior by providing a different style and on-click props. However, the button is closed for modifications. By extending functionalities, we do not interact with the component's source code. Third rule, Liskov substitution principle. In React, this principle can be applied in the context of component design and composition. While React components don't have a class-based inheritance relationship, like in traditional object-oriented programming, LSP concepts can still be applied using composition and props, for instance. If you have a base button component and you create an icon button component that extends or composes the base component, you should be able to use icon button anywhere you use button. The fourth rule, interface segregation principle. This rule states that no client should be forced to depend on methods it does not use. Translating this principle to React, we can say that a component should not have props that it doesn't use. Suppose you have different forms in your application, user form, product form, and order form. Each form component should only have props that are relevant to that specific form. The fifth rule, dependency inversion principle. This is the last of the solid principles, and it advocates for high-level modules to not depend on low-level modules, but rather both should depend on abstractions. Furthermore, abstractions should not depend on details, but details should depend on abstractions. In the context of React, this principle can be applied by inverting the dependency between a component and its dependencies, such as side effects, data fetching services, or any external modules. This can be achieved through techniques like higher order components, dependency, injection via props, or custom hooks. In this example, is created a generic data list component that can fetch and display data from any API endpoint. The actual data fetching function and how to render each item will be injected via props. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to be a modern developer and boost your coding skills, subscribe to my newsletter. Link in the description 